It's time for the NBA live on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. This Arizona crowd ready to roar in this Western Conference matchup for the Phoenix Suns. Well, we have a long season still ahead of us. Smitty, as a veteran, how much did Ready, you gentlemen. look to pace Ready. yourself as the season was going on, but in particular, the early part of the season? Uh, great question, Kevin. I think you look at it as a veteran, you got to assess the situation. If you got to come out there and, and I guess push your pace as a veteran because you want a team to get off to a good start, hopefully the younger guys can continue that pace, or you have a team that is going well and they know you need them at the end. It's a tough call for some veterans. And that's why you see the veterans hanging around that can do both. Now the starting group for the visitors. Nice shot there was set against. And it's the dude. Then it's the bodyguard. And it's Mr. Perfect in at the three spot. Here's Clutch. Pass to lights out. Here's Garino. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Flash passes to Vesely. That one goes. Count it. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. A lot of laziness going on out there. Still early in the game, but that needs to get worked out. Here's Persino. 11 points for him in that last game again. Also, you have to mention the rebounding. Another area where he excels. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. And so he hits both. Another made free throw. He can get on these kinds of rolls. Great focus. Sadoransky looking around. Baseline jumper. That one a little long. And Thomas Sadoransky gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Persino. Passes it to Clutch. Scola left side. Persino misses. And on some plays, everything goes your way, except for the finish. Count that one. Vesely's got his second basket of the night. Yeah, and he runs the floor with a purpose that time. Excellent play. You know what? And a late reaction by the transition D. Takes it himself uncontested. Here's Clutch. Scola with a clean look. And a miss there on the triple. This is the opposite of how they wanted to start this game. 0 for 4 already. Here's Clutch. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Right side, Scola. Five on the clock. Here's Brusino. Rebound by Vesely. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Bangs home the trifecta. Ah, they already have got into a nice flow. Four for five from the field. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Outside, Scola. The pass to Brasino. Outside, Scola. 
Here's Garino. His last outing with 20 points. From deep three-point range, third time is not the jump. Over three from the floor so far. And stolen by Scola. Got a piece of it. Lights out, passes to Garino. Unloads from 13. And he can't bank that one in. It's been a frustrating quarter for him shooting the basketball. He just has to make sure he's taking good shots. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Vesely's gotten all three of his shots to fall for time him. Out, three out. for three. And, and this is what you got to do. I mean, if it ain't working, call timeout. Try to figure out what you can do to fix the problem. You know, also, it's just a chance to take a breath. Regroup, get your mind set, and come back out fresh. And now, it's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best fast-break teams from a season ago. Yeah, I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. Garino kicks to Brasino. Pass to Clutch. Looking to end the run. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. And defensively, you've got to make a greater effort working over the screens. Yeah, he could have made a better choice. He left him an easy one. Let's see how he plays the next screen. Here's Vesely. That's his fourth basket of the game, and he's only taken four shots off to a good start. Oh, great ball movement there. Clutch the pass to lights out. Here's Clutch. Sandoransky covering. Over to the wing. Clock at four. Garino's shot is off. He can't find his mojo. Tough quarter for him scoring the basketball. And it's Vesely missing. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Garino passes to lights out. They get it again. Scola up top. Pass to Brasino. Pass to lights out. It's deflected. Here's Flash. He had 13 points in the win again, and that one is stuffed right through. And guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also, their play calling has been on point. Well, the two go hand in hand. Matching your strategy to your personnel is key. Here's Clutch. The pass to lights out. Stolen by Vesely. Inside, the bodyguard can't cash in from close range. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I was able to catch up with the head coach of the home team. It's the first matchup of the season against this team, and he knows that they have great shot blocking. But he did say we've got to remain aggressive and continue to attack. Put the bigs in high pick and roll situations and shoot the jumper with confidence. They feel that's the key, Kevin. Timeout, timeout. Thank you, David. So their focus is squarely on the opponent today, in particular that defense they have to contend with. And I just wonder if they'll try to solve the problems this defense poses by keeping the tempo quick, trying to strike early in the shot clock. You know, I think a more patient approach would be smart. Concentrate on shot selection and ball movement rather than tempo. We're always talking, Steve, about versatility. I guess the ultimate example would be guys who can go to either hand equally well. Yeah, you have those guys. Kyrie Irving stands out for me. Mike Conley being able to finish with both hands. Then there's some bigs around the basket. DeMarcus Cousins and Anthony Davis. John Wall is pretty good. He finishes a lot of times with dunks. 
So there's a lot of guys that understand that it's great to have that offhand and you can go to it. On defense, the visitors. Pass to Lapro Vidala. Out to the right wing. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. Wasted no time on that one. The Beasts got his first two points of the night. Defensively, they've been a step slow here to start. Here's Lapro Vidala. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. And that one is off. Guys, they've really built a nice lead here. And doesn't show any sign of slowing down. Passes to the dock. A fader. Basket good. And from the opening tip, they have been in complete control of this one. Dominate on the court and it's showing up on the scoreboard. Let's see if they can maintain this level of intensity. Here's Lapro Vidala. He's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Here's the kid. Here's the beast. And no good. Trying to use the glass. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Z and a good offensive board, and he gets the bucket. Z's got his first two points. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. To the inside. Oh, such a beautiful pass to set that one up. Yeah, the pass might have been pretty, but the finish was angry. <laughs> And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Havoc. Misses the layup. Here's the kid. They get the rebound. The doctor, nice work on the board. It's paying off with the basket. The doctor's got his second bucket of the night. And really focused on establishing dominance down low. And guys, it's working. They have played physical, they have owned the paint, and they have built up a decent lead here in the first. We've got 118 left to play in the first quarter. Fresh, the pass to the beast. Here's the doctor. Here's Fresh. That shot, no good. Provitola passes to Z. 50 seconds left in the first quarter. And the officials call a traveling violation. And if you really want to make things hard on yourself, this is exactly how you do it. Turnovers on back-to-back -back trips down the floor. Both teams deciding to change it up. There's 48 seconds left to play here in the first. Here's Red Hot. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And he knocks down the first one. Cowboys checked in for dimes. And he can't hit the second. 
We've got a nine second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And it's blocked. Here's the doctor. Here's Fresh. The doctor passes to the beast. Here's the doctor. Shot clock at six. The second chance effort. It doesn't go for him. And so it's the visiting team controlling the game and finishing the quarter with a 20-point lead. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll return shortly. And glad to have you with us, folks. Second quarter of basketball. This game has not exactly been neck and neck, but plenty of time left in this one. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? Aggressive rebounding in that first quarter. That's what's given them the advantage. Control the boards, and you control the flow of the game. And certainly a key for them in this one. 55% from the field. D out there with Z, and it's ABC. Then it's D, and it's Cowboy in at the two spot. Here's the Beast. Plays it up off the glass. The Beast's got six. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. They've got Red Hot. Flash out there with Fresh. Then there's the Doctor, and it's the Beast in at the two. And the shot goes down. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wynn. Well, this is where he shows both skill and body control along with the attack mindset. Z out there with D. And it's Cowboy. And it's ABC. And it's D. And it's the small forward. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Further proof that you can't leave anyone in this lead that wide open. Here's Red Hot. Here's the Beast. The quick look no good that time. And you see why his reputation is so strong defensively. He allows no separation. And so many defenses are not designed to take away the mid-range jumper. But he's given nothing away. Red Hot the pass to the dock. To the left side wing. Here's Flash. Fades back. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Here's the pass to Cowboy. And that one comes up a bit short. Looking a little tentative on a very makeable shot. And this one was uncontested. Pass to the dock. Here's Flash. Shot clock at five. Lets it go with a three. Nothing that time. He's uh, 0 for 2. Gone 3 of 4 from the floor here in the second quarter. Passes it to D. Let's it go from 14. His second miss, now two of four on the game. Pass to Flash. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Up by a bunch. He's still pushing the action, trying to impose his will. Time out, time With out. this big of a deficit in the score, you think the losing Sorry. team would be playing harder. Nope, the opposite. We know players love offensive play. We know fans love offensive play, but Smitty, do you think we should care more as fans and players about what players do on the defensive end? Well, I think so, Kevin, but I think it's the history of sports, especially our game in basketball. Just the players that lead the league in scoring, I think it all the credit and all the endorsements, guys who play defense, we'll pick out one or two, but we don't go overboard when we see guys that are defensively good. We don't talk enough about the defensive side and the impact these individuals have. And fans appreciate good defense, don't they? Fans like good defense. Yeah, they do, especially the fans that understand that you need defense to win championships. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Lights out. Oh, and there's the one-handed jam. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Now, here's Vesely. He's got eight. Flash passes to Sadoransky. Kicks it to Vesely. Six to shoot. Got a piece of it. And he recovers it. 
They get it back, and Flash gets it to go. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Here's ABC. It's deflected. And here's the break, pushing it up. Now the pass to Vesely. It falls for his fifth field goal of the night. Now shooting five for eight. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. And here in the second quarter of action as we approach four minutes played. Flash to Cowboy. Here's the three. Rebound by Vesely. Vesely's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Stolen. Here's Cowboy. Sadoransky covering. Sadoransky grabs the miss. Sadoransky's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Here's Vesely. Garino grabs the miss. Gotten a little under 50% of their second quarter shots to find the mark. Four of nine all told. Here's D. Tries again. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. Yeah, that was a huge factor for them a season ago, and their ability to attack the offensive glass and then convert those into second-chance buckets. I mean, no one did it better. Shoot two. He's off on the first. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. 40% since the beginning of the second quarter. Sadoransky bangs home the trifecta. Sadoransky's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. 40% since the beginning of the second quarter. Passes it to Garino. Here's lights out to halt the run. The rebound by Vesely. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. Here's Flash. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Five on the clock. And he overshot that one, missing. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. On Sunday, then on Friday. And, and Kevin, I think you have to look at this as an opportunity to take a step forward. Sometimes tough road trips can bring the best out of a team and bring you closer together. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. You know, Steve, in the NBA, you know exactly how much your peers are making. Do contract numbers ever bring out animosity between players? Yes, they do, Kevin. I mean, really? When you look at some guys, you see those guys starting to say, <laughs> I'm putting up better stats than him, but he's making more money. And then it will become the elephant in the room when the guys start to talk about it. They start not passing to each other. Yes, guys do know exactly what other players make, and sometimes there can become some animosity between the two. Oh, that's uh, the epic counts. Vesely's got 13 points. And that's why teams work so hard to get the ball inside, to create those high percentage looks and keep the buckets flowing. Here's Clutch. Five points in the game. Over to the wing. Here's Brasino. And the pass to Clutch. 
Pulls up on the elbow. Here's D. A rebound by Vesely. Vesely's got seven rebounds in the game. They grab their own miss. The shot comes out. 31% in the second. Some poor shot selection for them in this quarter. And there's the call on Mr. Perfect. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Laprovitola. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Shot clock at six. It's tipped. Here's easy breezy. Flash. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Flash has got his third bucket of the night. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Now here's Scola. D right on him. Off target from the baseline. Trying to shoot his way out of this slump, but thus far, not working. You know what? At some point, you have to decide. Do you keep pressing the issue, or do you focus on setting up others? Here's Laprovitola. Here's lights out. And it's Scola in the corner. Here's Flash. Eight points for him. Here's Easy Breezy. Pass to Mr. Perfect. His first shot coming late. No good off the back of the rim. Here's Lights Out, and he drops it in from the low post. Lights Out's got his second basket. The defense is pretty much helpless once he finds breathing room to get to the basket. Here's Easy Breezy. Here's the bodyguard. It's deflected, and they get it back. Here's Laprovitola. Fires high post. Another miss is sixth of the night after six shot attempts. You want to talk about ugly? This team is losing, wow. partly because he hasn't drained a shot all night. And this has been a great job of just getting into the middle of that defense and really scoring effectively from the paint. Here's Dimes. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. With the fadeaway. No good there. He's been scoreless for a while now. They're still trailing here. They might want to move to some other options offensively. Scola with the rebound. Just hasn't had it tonight, but his teammates are picking up the slack. Here's Brucino. After two misses to start the game, he's on the board with that shot made. 54 seconds left in the first half of basketball. Here's Easy Breezy. Pass to Flash. Here's Mr. Perfect. Passes it to Easy Breezy. No good on the three. Thing in the second quarter has been pretty iffy, down 32%. And he stepped in the line, so they turn it over. So both teams changing it up here. Here's Easy Breezy. Three seconds separate the shot clock and game clock. Here's the Beast. No good with the wing jumper. Here's Dimes. The shot's good from Lapro Vidala. Lapro Vidala's got his first basket of the night. And you have to like the location of this pass. Gives it to him where he can do something with it. Here's Fresh. Here's the Kid. And he was able to put it up in time, but doesn't fall. And so it's the visiting team with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. 
Hey folks, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal at 2K Sports. Let's talk first half. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what do you think? What a brilliant, unselfish half of basketball they just played. Their ball movement was absolutely impeccable. All in all, just beautiful basketball to watch. And big fella, let's get your thoughts on the home team. Sloppy ball, way too many wasted possessions, chucking up threes, missing them. I could hit more threes than that, Ernie. I hope they're talking right now about getting the ball inside because that's what it's going to take. If they were hitting more threes, that would be a different story. But if if was a fifth, Ernie, you know the rest. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. And we saw his work over the first two quarters, really pushing the action and consistently finding the open man. You know, it's so fun to watch the leadership and making his teammates better. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Bodyguard is out there with Mr. Perfect, and it's the dude, and there's Flash, and it's Sadoransky in at the point. The pass to Flash. Down to five on the shot clock. Let's it fly. Makes the bucket. Now he's got five field goals, five for eight in the game. Putting a rough 22% so far in this one. Here's Clutch. Pass to lights out. It's deflected. Pass to Sadoransky. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Here's lights out. Pass to Clutch. Screen coming. Six on the shot clock. Now the pass to Garino. They get it back. Lights out. Comes up empty down low. He's being aggressive, trying to turn around the team's fortunes but he's having a hard time executing. Flash misses. Gone 0-3 and are still looking for that first bucket here in the second half. Brasino kicks to Garino, and the layup's good off the glass. That's the shot they were looking for. After three straight misses coming out of the break, let's see if that sparks a rally. Now, here's Sadoransky. He's covered closely, and he gets contact and the whistle on the shot. Two shots coming up. Shooting two. And the first one at the line is good. both free throws here's clutch he has five to the inside it's deflected and that's going to be out of bounds and they retain possession this break in the game gives us a chance to look at the teams with the most points off turnovers last season yeah, I mean, the best in the league at forcing those miscues and, and then capitalizing at the other end. Their defense led to their offense. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And with that miss, shooting only 20% coming out of the break. Ouch! Sadoransky, the pass to the bodyguard. Second chance shot. 
And the layup by Sadoransky. Sadoransky's got his second basket of the night. His combination of energy and anticipation showing up on the office of glass. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Yeah, and the amount of points they've given up here in the paint, that, that's what they got to talk about. You know, for the most part, their perimeter D is holding up, but they might have to sacrifice some of that to close down the lane. Clutch the pass to score. Clearly a foul. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Shooting two, gentlemen. The free throw drops for Scola. Scola hits them both. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. Adaransky, the pass to Flash. Here's Mr. Perfect. He lobs up the alley-oop pass, and that one ends up out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. And how about the reaction time on D there? Almost comes up with the pick. You know, these are the little plays that can add up when you look over the course of a game. Flash is checked in for Mr. Perfect. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Shot clock at five. Flash misses. Gone only one of five from the field since halftime. Very slow start offensively. ABC passes to Garino. That shot off. I'll tell you, he just hasn't been able to get it done on the offensive end. It's kind of dragged down the team. And they pick up two. The beauty of the teardrop. Very difficult to really contest. Sadoransky's gone three for four here from the field. ABC passes to lights out. Here's Clutch. Pass to lights out. Here's Garino. From deep. Sadoransky grabs the miss. Sadoransky's got his sixth rebound on the night. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach, be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been falling on deaf ears. Guys taking ill-advised jump shots. I like to see that. Taking it up strong in traffic. And there's the foul. It's on clutch. That is his first foul of the game. Cowboys checked in for Big Dog. Here's the doctor. Passes to Red Hot. Here's the doctor. It's not going to go for him. Gone just 25% from the field here in the second half. Go two of eight. Sedoransky grabs the miss. Fantastic rim protection. That's not in his wheelhouse to overcome. And it's Vesely missing. 
He got a good look from the mid-range area. He needs to shoot this one with more confidence. And the call will be against Red Hot. That's his first foul. Here's ABC, Sadoransky covering. Here's Garino. His three-pointer is off the mark. And you just get the sense the whole period he's been a bit out of sync. Yep, trying to shoot himself back into this. Regain some confidence first. Soft interior defense. You know he's going to be aggressive. Being a rough 22% so far in this one. Here's ABC, Sadoransky covering. To the left wing, fires for three, and he's good on the three ball. Garino's got five points so far. And he finally gets involved from beyond the arc. His first three of the game comes here in the second quarter. Here's Red Hot, pass to Sadoransky, out to the right wing. From 13, got a piece of it, and he gets it back. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. On Tuesday, then on Sunday. On the inbound, rebound by Vesely. And that was an easy one there, just a missed opportunity. If you give it to him, he'll take that shot every time down the floor. I'm sure he's kicking himself. Here's Flash. And there's the pass to Sadoransky. Down to five on the shot clock. And that one drops for him. Six points for him. Didn't have any problem knocking that one down. Another defensive lapse leading to two more. Pass to Cowboy for three. And they're on the break. Intercepted. For the three. Sinks the triple. D's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Timely passing leads timeout, timeout. to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Yeah, I mean, just wants to make sure everybody's on the same page here going forward. You know, sometimes the best way to approach it, let your guys know what they're doing well, and give them one or two things that they could have done better. Here's Easy Breezy, down low, the doctor, and he pounds that one in. I tell you what, he's showing some real courage going to the reverse in that situation. You know, I, I don't think he knows you're not supposed to do that in traffic. <laughs> Here's Laprovitola. He kicks it to Scola. Dimes the pass to D. Lock at six, right wing. And the basket by Scola. Scola's got five now. Their third three-pointer in a row. Being around 40% in the third. Maybe settling for some less than ideal looks out there. The kid passes to Fresh. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there for Scola. I think it's leaving something to be desired. Just 36% here in the third quarter. 
Second chance shot. Down it goes. Nice one there from Garino. Garino's got seven now in this quarter. Now we can say it. He's a completely different shooter this half. Much more confidence, much more success. Easy breezy passes to Fresh. Here's Easy Breezy, guarded by Scola. Here's Easy Breezy. Here's the doctor. Scola with the rebound. Scola's got rebound number eight now on the night. Here's Laprovidola. Kicks to Scola. Oh, well, good with the triple. Here's the doctor, and there's the slam dunk to finish it off. Serve and the defense there. He makes a terrific read. 139 left in the third. Apro Vidala passes to Garino. Right side, Scola. Passes it to Lapro Vidala. From outside the arc. Here's Garino. Got a hand on it. Here's Easy Breezy. And there's the pass to the Beast. Here's the kid. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Mr. Perfect, he's checked in for easy breezy. Being a disastrous 25% from the field so far. Here's Dimes. Doesn't get it to drop for him. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys Fresh. into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. Here's Dimes. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Now here's Scola. He's guarded closely. Pass to Dimes. Jacks up a three. The shot, no good. Yeah, not a great shot there, especially when you got a lockdown defender guarding you. You know, there's no shame in passing out in that situation. Leave your ego at the door. The steal. And so it's the visiting team cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. This has been a one-sided matchup, and I don't see any signs of it lessening. Right back after this break. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Dimes is out there with smooth. Then it's D. Then there's lights out. And it's Brusino in at the three. Passes it to lights out. Here's Dimes. And a miss there on the triple. Here's the doctor. That's a miss. And with it, he is five for nine. Top of the key. No good on that one. D's gone one of three on the night to the inside. Here's Dimes. Pass to Brasino. Here's Lights Out. And there's the pass to Dimes. And a miss there on the triple. Being around 40% from the four here. To the wing right side. The kid passes to Fresh. No good. Shot missing. Gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Pass to Lights Out. And so out of bounds it goes. And they retain possession. Clutch, he's checked in for Dimes. Oh. 
just over a minute played here in the fourth. Here's Brasino. Offline with the baseline jumper. Here's the bodyguard. Sinks the three-pointer. And this is his shot. You give him that much space, you're asking for trouble. And the problem is you're already way behind. Obviously, your closeouts are ineffective. You're in trouble. Here's Clutch. Another shot. Bites out. Off with the layup. Here's Shilb. And the three ball is good. Yeah, that's two bombs in a row from long range. Being a rough 22% so far in this one. Passes to Brasino. And there's the whistle. That goes on flash. That's his first foul. Smitty, every so often we'll hear about a team holding a players only meeting. You've been there, I'm sure. You've gone through that. What exactly goes on in, in those discussions? You know, Kevin, when you hear players only meeting, Something's going wrong <laughs> with the team. Right. And obviously, we meet all the time. But when there's specific, in quotation, a players only meeting, there's a lot of things that are going wrong with the team, with individuals, with the coaches or general managers. They are trying to find a way to hash it out. And those are never good. And there's a whistle. That goes on the bodyguard. That's his fourth foul of the contest. ABC's checked in for clutch. And so here's the home team. Nothing doing offensively yet for them in the fourth. Just five to shoot. Here's Cowboy. No good that time. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. And also protecting the rim at all costs. I love the anticipation to affect the shot. The bodyguard passes to Flash. Gets it to go from beyond the arc just increasing their advantage and right now they're in a zone on both ends yeah this lead has snowball credit their killer instinct for piling on here's abc here's cowboy got a hand on it but he recovers it to the middle cuts off the pass pass to flash and a miss there on the triple he started off solid, had two threes at halftime, but blank from deep since. It's good. You can't give him any daylight or he will do just that. Gone three of six from the field so far in the fourth quarter. A three ball. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. And every set they're running looks like it's designed to produce a triple. Interesting approach coming down the stretch. Looking to rack up points and chunks. Well, the NBA has had three referee crews for quite a while. Steve, do you think adding a fourth ref would help in any way? No, I think it'll get a little bit crowded on the floor. I would love to see. I know they won't go back. I love the two referee two situation. I look at it right now. Referee A calls a call. Referee B calls a call. It just feels like referee C has to make the next call or get up, up far as even with the other referees. I would love to see them go back to a two-referee uh, situation. That's the least checked in for the bodyguard. That one is no good. The NBA is so financially stable right now, Steve. What's it been like watching this growth for the league overall? You know, I've loved it because I think the partnership has been phenomenal. The league is growing both for players and also organization. They've done a nice job of getting a chance to hammer out some of these issues to making it worthwhile financially for the league and also financially for the players. Ball stolen. Here's Vesely, and Vesely slams it in. And we talk about this a lot, turnovers leading to transition points. I love the anticipation right there for the pick. Then he wastes no time getting up court. 
Here's ABC. And that's an air ball. Not even close. Here's Flash. The pass to Red Hot. Here's Flash. No good on the shot. Well, we know a lot of NBA players take how they've been rated in a video game, Steve, personally. Uh, you've made digital appearances during your career. Did you ever have any issues with the with the ratings? <laughs> no, I didn't. I, and I think now these players, I grew up in this generation with video games. So, yes, they take it personally. They understand. Yes, and they're do. playing these games <laughs> while they're in the NBA. So a lot of them, just like when the media is all over them, they want to have a say-so on how good they are, even in a video game. The defense disrespecting his range. He goes ahead and buries it. The 17-footer goes down. And that's definitely a shot that he has in his arsenal. They've been a little too casual with the ball out there. Yeah, but you can't force that square peg into the round hole. Oftentimes, you just got to make that first simple pass and get a rhythm from that. And you see why his reputation is so strong defensively. He allows no separation. And so many defenses are not designed to take away the mid-range jumper. But he's given nothing away. Here's Cowboy. Floats one up. The shot, no good. Just great at getting after it defensively, forcing guys into tough shots. Yeah, to be successful, you've got to protect the paint. He rises to that challenge. They are just killing him on the interior. Here's ABC to the left side wing. Here's Cowboy. A rebound by Vesely. Look, that's in his range, but he had a defender right up in his chest. Oh, and he misses the dunk. And you're just not going to see him do that very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee it's going down. To the wing right side. Here's Flash. No good with the wing jumper. And this is one of those times where the coach has got to preach, be unselfish. And we don't know that he hasn't. Maybe it's been falling on deaf ears. Guys taking ill-advised jump shots. Here's Red Hot. Pass to Big Cat. Well, we've seen the growth of the G League, especially in how much it's been utilized for player development. A lot of guys going up to the NBA level. Steve, how do you think we'll see this evolve over the next 10 years? Uh, I think the G League and this partnership with the NBA and teams has been fantastic. Uh, it's kind of uh, similar to baseball right now in the minor leagues, and the teams have done a great job of having the flexibility to bring guys up and down. I love it for a lot of these young guys to get a chance to develop and also be a part of, I would say, the big team. Excellent point. Two shots. Relax on the first. And he can't get the first one. He hits the second from the line. Here's Red Hot. One fifty-eight left in the fourth quarter. Vesely. Oh. <laughs> oh, he is a highlight reel unto himself, guys. Uh, that could be a contender for the dunk of the year, I think.
And that was an Unleash Chaos replay, courtesy of Under Armour, wreaking havoc at the rim. B, the pass to Z. Here's lights out. And it goes down two points. 133 left in the fourth. Here's Red Hot. Inside. Great communication on the alley oop. Oh, Kevin, get a load of that one. Take that play and put it in the alley oop textbook, boys. Uh, perfectly done. You're right. He put it on a platter for him. Here's Laprovitola. Pass to B. Swiped away. Here's Mr. Perfect. Vesely passes to Mr. Perfect. Here's the kid. Six to shoot. Now the pass to Red Hot. For three. Buries it from three-point range. And how much longer are they going to keep that foot on the accelerator? Well, this is less about winning the game now and more about making a bold statement. Here's Laprovitola. Pass to D. Here's lights out. A shot missing. Yeah, the aggressive D inside leads to a missed opportunity there. You know, he had terrific position. Does a good job of affecting the shot without fouling. Here's the kid. Here's Red Hot. Fires from 18. And he wills that one in. Sinking right through off the back iron. Tremendous effort here on the road. That plane ride home is going to be sweet. They better have some extra goodies on that plane because after this blowout, they deserve to be rewarded. The visiting club takes the win on the road. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Steve Smith, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.